Carter, Stevie Aaron. Looking for revenge against Screwface. Huge crowd on hand here at Hull City Hall. Dave Bradshaw here alongside former British heavyweight champion Alex Shane. And Alex Slater has been tormented for months. Tonight he gets a chance to get his own back. Well, it was one of the biggest stories of the last two seasons of British Wrestling Weekly. And now it may finally come to a head. Two huge clash matches. Leguero and Connors, and right now, Screwface against Liam Slater in a packed Hulk City Hall. Dave, this one is going to be serious. Now, why on earth is Connors out here? To answer your question, Dave, every single time we have seen Liam Slater in a ring, in an NGW ring, to do with anything regarding Joseph Connors, it's manipulation and psychological warfare 101. It was that type of warfare that brought Connors into NGW with those very cryptic video messages. And unfortunately for Liam Slater, he has been at the brunt of it, a brunt which might end right here with a huge man known as Screwface. Well, Connors would be well served to focus his attention on El Ligero. He's got that enormous match coming up a little later on. And as for Slater, well, look at the task facing him. This mysterious monster that Connors has brought to NGW, Screwface, is a daunting, a daunting mountain of a task for one of NGW's most popular competitors. NGW's new executive producer, Mark the Beast LeBet, as much as he has attempted to try and focus the direction of NGW by putting Slater and Leguero in that season opening tag team match, the pressure to finally get these two men in the ring was too much. And that's why we have that huge double grudge match main event on this episode. Look at the look of determination, the pure intensity in the eyes of Liam Slater. Yeah, don't forget, Alex, this is the guy who was... Oh, go! Screwface charging at him, Slater with the forearms to the face, forearms to the face from Slater, and he takes down the big man. God, Slater has come prepared. The last time we saw Liam Slater in a singles match, it was that epic confrontation with Joseph Connors. And if there's one thing the rivalry with Connors has done for Liam Slater, it has turned this young man into a gallant warrior in an NGW ring. I was about to say that we know Slater is such a, a fun-loving young man, but his persona has taken a decidedly more serious turn thanks to, oh my goodness, thanks to the torment that Connors has put him through. And look at this by Slater, huge body slam. And my God, I'm impressed. This young man has endured so much, but grown so equally to go with that uh, uh, psychological warfare, like I said, manipulation. And let's not forget the physical hammering that Liam Slater has received at the hand of, uh, hands of Joseph Connors. Slater charged into the corner by Screwface. There you see some of that raw power that Slater has to contend with. And a real disadvantage here for Slater is the fact that Screwface, nobody really knows anything about him. How do you prepare for a man like this? Yeah, that's a great point. Slater, such a student of the game, likes to do his homework on all of his opponents. That was not an option coming into this big growth match. And what's Screwface going for here? They've charged it on. Slater moves out of the way just in time. Slater with another one of those forearms. It's not Screwface away for a minute, but the big man comes back. And Slater in a precarious position up on the turnbuckles. Potentially a big moment of this match early on. Slater knows he's in trouble, headbutts Screwface away. And now Slater is perched and primed. Liam Slater on the top rope, here in Hull City Hall. Oh, but Slater distracted there momentarily. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Sl Slater may have landed hard on his, on his left leg. Oh, this is trouble, this is trouble for Liam Slater. He's clutching at his left ankle. 
Well, that was a bad landing, Dave. Yeah. I think you've got to blame Connors for that, right? The distraction from Connors was what caused Liam to be distracted before he jumped off the top. It's so easy to overlook the importance and the weakness of tendons and bones when it comes to professional wrestling. Wrestlers spend a lot of time working on the muscles, but there is no machine in the gym that can help you strengthen bones and tendons. Oh, oh my look goodness. at that. Chop wow. block from Screwface doing further damage to what may already be an injured left ankle. And referee Adam Jay has been told by Mark LeBet if these guys want a grudge match, let it go. Oh, look, special guest ring announcer Katarina Lee there at ringside looking concerned. And so she should because Adam Jay has been told, let these guys go. But maybe that is a bad call by Mark LeBet. Slater is still showing the heart of the lion, trying to fight back. But Screwface charged. Slater moved out of the way, Screwface into that ring post. Oh, I just mentioned Katarina Lee. And she's a veteran of the professional wrestling industry. 15 years in the business, Dave. And this is, she knows firsthand, many of her very good friends have had their careers ended by injuries that took place in a ring where they just continued. Yeah, Lee is uh, talking to our referee. And as you say, she's seen a lot, so if she's concerned, then that means this is a serious situation. Well, NGW is all about the new generation of British wrestling, but if that new generation gets ended on television, Dave, that is not the right message to send out. And I bet LeBet is now questioning his decision to tell the referees to let this go. Well, this match is essentially on hold at the moment as our referee tries to talk to Liam Slater, as does our guest timekeeper, Katarina Lee. This may be the shortest double main event, Dave, we've ever had on this program, because Oh, look at Screwface, just stalking his prey. And this is the point where referee Adam Jay has to intervene. But how do you stop a man as scary looking as Screwface? Screwface with that deranged look in his eyes, reminiscent actually of Connors. Oh, look at this. Well, I don't know if that's a wise decision, but Katarina Lee telling Screwface to step back. Hopefully it respects her, her time in the industry. That's a dangerous, dangerous move by... Katarina Lee, oh, oh my goodness, what was that? Oh, what was that? Oh, that was that miss that temporarily blinded Liam Slater last season. Oh, this is horrible. Screwface spraying some kind of mist into the eyes of Katarina Lee. Oh, wow. As you say, Liam Slater knows exactly how that feels. And well, Slater was temporarily blinded by that spray when it happened to him. Let's hope the same hasn't happened to Katarina Lee. Slater's in shock, Dave, as am I. I mean, that's going to be a serious fine from Mark the Beast Lebeck. What was Screwface doing? I mean, this is, this is not good, Dave. We're going to have to go to a commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment as this one continues here on British Wrestling Weekly. Back here on British Wrestling Weekly, a huge grudge match in progress between Liam Slater and Screwface as Joseph Connors continues to be a malignant presence by the stage. And we knew this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Roll up there. Slater, Liam Slater. Come on, we got two. Wow. I said, oh, I was trying to say that we knew this was going to be a serious grudge match. Oh, straight down on that leg. But before the commercial break, female British wrestling legend Katarina Lee sprayed by that mist of Screwface. And now look at this merciless, relentless battering on that injured leg of Liam Slater. And Slater landed awkwardly on that left leg after coming off the top rope before the break. And since then, Screwface has been focusing absolutely relentlessly on that leg as he continues to do that. And it should be mentioned, it was told to me before the commercial break, El Leguero, who is in our main event against the man you can see intermittently on the stage, Joseph Connors. Leguero is not yet at the whole City Hall. No one knows where he is. Uh, very unlike Leguero to run late. Hopefully we'll have more on that story and he will be here for our main event. And talking to people, absent without leave, missing in action, Dave Bradshaw, Mark the Beast Lebet is still unable to gain contact and communication with Liverpool's number one, Zach Gibson. We have not seen him since last season. So many issues on the plate of our new, new executive producer. And he's got another one now with Katarina Lee after what Screwface did to her. Before the break, here comes Slater with an elbow into the side of the face. Slater still trying to fight back despite the agony oh. that he must be going through. God, Screwface, it, I, I tell you, when we first saw him, we thought he was just a big, strong, scary guy. But there is a method to his madness. He is relentless on the leg of Slater. And there's only so long, Dave, that this can go before the match has to be called to a finish because Slater's unable to stand. 
Yeah, it's a really good point. It's a, it's a mistake, I think, to describe Screwface as some kind of rabid animal. There is a there is a method there, a strategy, a very clear one that he is employing. And Slater is essentially one-legged in this match. And look at Screwface straight back. What's oh my wow! Oh, if that I tell you what, if that ankle wasn't broken before, there's a very strong chance it is right now. The heart of Slater to even stay in this at this point. Screwface doesn't care, does he? Totally cowers in the way he is assaulting Liam Slater. This match continues. But how much longer can this go on if Slater is in this condition? Ah, oh, Slater calling on Screwface, saying, bring it on. And he gets an A for heart and courage, but maybe a Z for intelligence here, because he's letting his rage fuel him, and this could prematurely end his career. You can't fight a man like Screwface with one leg. Even on two legs, it's a tall water, and Screwface is, oh. I think, a bit stunned by this tenacity of Slater. Listen to this crowd at the whole City Hall erupting day for the courage of Liam Slater. Huge Inzaguri kick to the back of the head of the big man. Yeah, but look, look, Screwface didn't go down. He didn't go down off that Inzaguri. Ah, oh, well, Slater got in mind now. Left and right, trying to fight. He's keeping them open, those hands, Dave's trying to stay within the rules. Oh, wow. Slater is fired up here on British Wrestling Weekly. A grudge match against Screwface. Look, you can't even climb the ropes there, Dave. Slater's in a bad, bad way. And now, yeah, now those fists are closed. And look, referee Adam J reprimanded. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hang on a second. Screwface, Screwface. Oh. With a powerbomb into the turnbuckles on Slater. And he takes out the leg again. Oh, straight back to... Oh, look at that. Oh, ankle lock. Oh, Dave, that's got to be... That will do it. That will do it. Slater's got a tap. Slater's got a tap. And he's in the centre of the ring, Dave. And that is the worst place to be in a submission hole like that. Slater needs to get to the ropes and he does. But oh. how much energy, how much energy did that take from Liam Slater to get to the bottom rope? Look at Screwface. Look at Screwface with headbutts and strikes and again into the ankle lock. Oh, he's back on it. Oh, and he's, he's gone back with it, Dave. All the pressure and now there is no hope of Slater to get to the ropes. That's Honestly, in my opinion, this is just a matter of time. He can't withstand this. Slater cannot withstand this. There is absolutely no way. Liam Slater must be on the on the point of. He's barely conscious here. Ah, oh, in a hole like this, Dave, if you're in it for too long and you don't tap, there is a very strong possibility that you pass out from the. Pa oh, referee Adam Jay's ringing the bell. Ah, oh. yeah, that's a that's a smart decision. A smart decision for for the long-term future of Liam Slater.